Okay, let's do this already. But I'm warning you, if you want to disagree with my picks put your opinions on your YouTube. Baby Woke isn't a democracy. The first extension is Dash to Panel, that basically merges Dash and Top Panel into a single object sitting on the bottom of our screen. I realize not everyone would like that, but Shell could provide two modes already. One that would be more optimized for desktops, and had that panel, and one targeting mostly touch and using the current top bar. That way we could have further improvements on each mode, like the workspace's thumbnails that aren't very useful on many touch devices. And I do remember we have the classic mode, but it is so bad executed, that I'm wondering why they're even trying. So Shell by default gives us only a little bit room for changing things, and those only recently were added. With just perfection extension we can hide the unwanted search entry, or make the workspace's thumbnails targets larger. And actually we can modify almost every single Shell component. And if those aren't enough? It comes with a Chino splash screen. And the third and last extension is what you expect the most. The troublesome and dramatic indicators of background apps. On the bright side we have some ongoing action on them, and assuming you already knowing what you're gonna see, we have some new mockups. Those are 5 days ago, and what's new is that if we open the background apps, those will open inside the menu area rather full screen as it was on the previous implementation. But obviously most important here is to have a new API that takes into account sandboxing at Wayland, and I think we're closing on that. And of course we have many more essential extensions, like tiling extensions to increase our workflow, or just visual effects add-ons to make things a bit prettier. But you know what? No matter how good an extension is, they all suffer from the exact same problem. Okay, extensions do break in almost each shell release, but that's not the problem. Extensions creators already know they should follow shell development and update accordingly, and most usually it isn't even like a huge work. The real problem with extensions is their discoverability, and extensions gnome org does some truly terrible job. By the way there is this app on Flathub if you want, but it doesn't really solve anything. The concept is that when you can't find good extensions, then you don't use extensions, and then extensions authors are losing motivation. And the problem scales to application development too, and while there are some truly great GNOME apps, here we get recommendation of notes, gedit and transmission. And then we have some promotional efforts like GNOME Circle, which are definitely not sustainable solutions. And on a side note I consider it a bit offensive name too, because a circle also symbolizes a closed group. You are either in, or out, with us, or against us. But regardless, is not how things should work on technical level. We need cloud logins, we need history, we need metrics, we need to improve the recommended and discover the trends. We need to make the whole experience more fun. And you need to stop telling about shell breaking extensions, because that's not even an issue. That's how extensions development actually works. Oh, and by the way? I want to dedicate a song to Ubuntu Jellyfish from yet another GTK4 GNOME app. Bye bye!